Hello everyone, welcome back to this Pandas tutorial. In this session, I'm gonna talk about at, I at, and insert. Let's go! As you remember, in the previous session, we talked about the get and all related function about the get. But in this session, we are gonna talk about some insert functions. For the first step I need to import some libraries such as pandas and numpy as always and then I want to create a data frame I said pandas that data frame I use tab to accelerate my work and I said for example something like I don't know the color And also I print the data frame here as you can see there is a two column and also three rows okay what is add here we can get a specific value with the add function for example I say df dot add and I pass the index value for example the zero value and also the name of column for example I say a color here and as you can see i get a red it means that in index zero and the column color name uh, the value is a red maybe you said that what's the difference between lock and add actually we talked about the lock functions and also the i lock function in this video you can check it but if i want to say some difference between lock and add i can say df.lock for example, we can get a zero here, the all values in the zero index. But here, if I remove the column name, I get an error and it said that one value is missing. So we can get just a specific value here with uh, the index value and also the, uh, for example, the column name. Also, we can use a lock and add together. For example, I get I said that a lock value with the index zero, and then dot add uh, with the value of column name. For example, color here. And as you can see, we get a red. But also, add can do something else. For example, we can say df dot add and uh, index number. For example, two. And uh, for example, we here said a color. We can assign a value with the add function instead of just uh, getting a specific value. I said that, for example, assign a yellow here. And we can print it df. As you can see, uh, the origin value was a black and it turned into the yellow, as you can see. So we can assign with add as well. But what about I add? With this, add. The difference between at and I add is the difference between lock and I lock. As I said uh, in the video about the lock and I lock. So if I say df dot I add, it means that I have to pass both the index value for example a value one and the value for a column as the number uh, and it doesn't need to set the for example color or id i have to pass the integer value for a column for example i said here zero and i get the blue one it is as same as all lock i said df dot all lock for example and uh, as you remember, I said that I is identify as integer here. For example, I said the value of index one and the column name uh, is a one as well. And I get 154. But with the I add, we can assign the value as well. I said that df dot I add and uh, the value, for example, here is a two for index. And for a column, I said the zero and I pass uh, the value of orange, for example. And if I printed DF, 
uh, you can see that this value turned into the orange as well. But what is insert? When I want to uh, actually add something like a column, not just the specific value, I can use the insert function. I said df.insert. If you don't remember what's the parameter you should send into a function, you can use a shift tab here. And as you can see, the first parameter is location. The second one is a column. The third one is a value. And the first one is allo duplicate. So what does it mean uh, with the location? It means that where do you want to put the column? For example, I want to put in the zero index in the first one the second one and the third one for example i said here please put this column into the first column and then the name of our column for example i said the new column and the third one is the value here we have a three value because we have a three rows so i said for example 11 12 just a random number and the first one is a load duplicated that we can talk about later. I printed DF. As you can see, the new column is added into the first location because I pass zero here. But if I want to add this one again, as you can see, I get an error because it said that the new column is exist. So if I allow the duplication and I said allow duplicates to and uh, actually i can change uh, the location of column for example i set it two and if i run it and print it df you can see the new column add again into the second location this is the zero one this is the first column and this is the second column that's all this is what you need to know about the insert at and i add if you have a question please comment below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more watch our next video and bye bye